Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Currently, we are in the fifth module of our hands on machine learning course, and this fifth module is all about mathematics for machine learning. So, in the previous video, I have explained you about some important concepts of matrix. So, what is meant by a matrix, and uh, how you can find the shape of a matrix, what are the different types of matrix, and what is meant by the transpose of a matrix. So, in this video, let's try to implement all these things in Python. Okay, so we will create matrices in Python, and we also create the different types of matrices like null matrix and identity matrix in Python, and we will also try to find the transpose of a matrix using Python. Okay, so that will be the agenda of today's video. So, in case you are watching my videos for the first time, hi, in this YouTube channel, I am making a hands on machine learning course with Python. And if you want to learn this course from the beginning, you can go to the playlist section of my channel. So, there you will find, uh, you know, videos module wise. Okay. So, from there, you can start learning my course from the beginning. Okay. So, with that being said, let's get started with today's video. Okay. So, the first step is to import NumPy library. So, import numpy as np okay so numpy stands for numerical python okay so it is you know very useful for creating arrays so we call these arrays as numpy arrays so we would have also studied about or you know practiced arrays in c programming and other programming languages so arrays is nothing but it is a list of numbers so you know something that contains multiple uh, numerical values so something like that okay so that is uh, meant by arrays and uh, we can create exclusive numpy arrays using this numpy library so it is also very useful for doing some uh, mathematical computations okay and we will use this numpy library to create our matrices so i'm doing this programming in google collaboratory so if you are not aware of this google collaboratory it is a cloud-based uh, you know programming environment for python so you can just go to google and search as google collaboratory so once you go to this site so you can see the site here so it's collab.research.google.com so here there will be a connect option so you can connect your system from here after that you can run your python programs in these cells okay so if you want to run this cell so if you want to execute this cell just press shift plus enter so if you press shift plus enter it will execute that cell and go to next one so you can also press this play symbol which is to run that cell okay so this will import our numpy library okay so now i'll just make a text here so in this text you can just uh, give some description of what you are doing in your code so here i want to create a matrix right so this is about creating a matrix using numpy okay so let's name this matrix as matrix 1 matrix 1 is equal to np dot array and okay so inside this parenthesis we need to give the elements of the matrix that we want okay so i'll just make a square bracket here so in this square bracket we need to mention the rows of our matrix separately okay so inside this square bracket i'll create two other square brackets okay so you can see the you know uh, the square brackets i'm making so in this first set of brackets so inside this i need to mention my first row so let's say that the elements of the matrix are 2 comma 3 and the you know second row of the matrix contains the values let's say 6 comma 7 so you can take any values so this 2 and 3 will be the first row of our matrix and this 6 and 7 will be the elements of our second row in our matrix so you can press shift plus enter so I'll, I'll also just print this so let's print matrix one okay so let's print shift plus uh, let's press shift plus enter you can see here now it uh, it has created our matrix which has first row as 2 comma 3 and the second row as 6 comma 7 so this is how you can create a matrix in python using this np dot array function okay so np refers to numpy so we generally uh, import numpy in the short form as np so in, so that we can use this in a short form as np instead of using this numpy in numpy every time we you know uh, use that particular library so it is just the general convention of importing a library in a short form okay so now let's see how we can find the shape of a matrix so we call a matrix as a 2 cross 3 matrix if it contains 2 rows and 3 columns and we can call it a 4 cross 5 matrix if it contains a 4 rows and 5 columns right so now let's see how we can find the shape of this particular matrix so matrix 1 so mention it matrix 1 dot shape okay so let's run this so here you shouldn't mention the uh, parenthesis so like for example so after putting this uh, shape you cannot uh, 
just include this parenthesis so it will uh, you know give us an error because like tu tuple objects is not callable so whenever you see, you are using this shape function just uh, run it without that parenthesis and this shape will give us the shape of our matrix so here it is 2 comma 2 so 2 comma 2 represents two rows and two columns so the first element represents the number of rows and the second element uh, represents the number of columns so here we have two rows and two columns right so 2 and 3 will be our first row and 6 and 7 will be our second row and 2 and 6 will be our first column and 3 and 7 will be our second column so this is how you can find the shape of a matrix so now let us create another matrix with different shape so i'll name this as matrix 2 and matrix 2 is equal to np dot array okay so np dot array inside this we need to mention the rows we want right so we need to mention those arrays inside the, these square brackets so let's create three sets of brackets one for each row okay so now we can mention the elements that we want in our matrix so you can just take any random numbers so i'll just take the values as 10 35 45 anything you want so let the values in the second column be 50 64 80 okay so now let's put the values in our third column so 20 comma 15 comma 90 okay so now let's try to print this matrix to okay so now we can see here that we got a 3 plus 3 matrix so the first row contains the values 10 35 45 so you, so you, can, you can see here right so the second uh, row of values that we gave was 50 64 and 80 so you can see that here so this is how you can create a matrix with three rows and three columns so similarly you can just find the shape of this matrix as matrix 2 dot shape okay so let's run this okay so it is a 3 cross 3 matrix which means it contains 3 rows and 3 columns okay so now let's see how we can create matrix with random values so i'll just make a text here as creating matrices so the plural form of matrix is matrices with random values okay so in a lot of times when we are working in matrix in python so we need to you know initiate our matrix so in that case we will initiate uh, these matrix sometimes with random values and sometimes with all the values as zeros and such kind of matrices now let's see how we can create matrices with any random values so i'll just name this matrix as random matrix and random matrix is equal to np dot random dot rand so this is the function that will give us uh, you know uh, matrix with random values so inside this parenthesis we need to mention the shape of the matrix that we want here let me put as 3 comma 3 so that means i want a 3 cross 3 matrix a matrix with 3 rows and 3 columns and i want all the values to be some random values okay so this is how you can create it so in the previous cases we have just given the values right so we didn't men didn't mention the shape so in this case we can mention the shape and it, it will just give you random values now let us print this so print random matrix okay so now you can see here we get a uh, matrix with random values but the important thing to note here is all the values are floating point values and all the values are less than one right so it is in the range of 0 0.8 0 0.4 etc and it is less than one right so this is what the values that we will get if we use this np dot random dot rand now let's see how we can create a matrix with random values but all the values should be integers okay so let's see so this is about creating creating matrix with random integers okay so we can just name this as any name you can give so i'll just name this as random integer matrix okay and this is equal to np dot random dot rand int so in the previous case we have used random dot rand right so this rand gives us floating values whereas this rand int give us integer values so one second i'll just check whether it is recording okay so now you can see here we have used this rand int function so inside this again mention 
uh, you know we need to mention the shape of the matrix and there is another parameter that we need to mention so i just put here the value as 100 so 100 means i want uh, you know random values but all the random values should be less than 100 okay so and there is another parameter called as size so this size is nothing but the shape of the matrix that we want so here i'll just create a four cross five matrix that means the matrix should contain four rows and five columns and you can print this random initial matrix sorry random integer matrix so the two parameters that we gave are the number so like if we if i just give this number as 50 all the values will be less than 50 so if i give this as the value as 1000 all the random values will be less than 1000 and the second parameter is nothing but the shape of the matrix that we want so let's run this now you can see here we got a matrix with random integer values and all the values are less than 100 okay so this is how you can create a matrix with random values uh, you know random integer values right okay so next let's see how we can create a matrix with all the values as one okay so let's see so let me put a text as matrix with all the values as one okay so let's name this matrix as um, matrix 3 okay so just give any name you want so for this we need to use the function in library in numpy library called as np.ones okay so np.ones and inside this we need to mention the shape of the matrix that we want 2 comma 3 okay so and let's also print this matrix 2 comma 3 okay so here you can see here i have just mentioned two parentheses here so i have enclosed the shape in another uh, parenthesis so in some cases we need to do that so some function requires that okay so i'll just go here you can see the uh, description here so np.ones okay so you can see the parameters here so it, it has the values as shape right so shape is nothing but the shape of the matrix that we want so it is an integer or sequence of integers so we need to give it in the form of uh, you know um, as a list okay so here i'll just mention the shape of the matrix as 2 comma 3 and let's run this and this will create a matrix with uh, two rows and three columns and all the values will be one okay so this is how we can do this and here you can see here it is in the form of floating point right so it is given us one point so it is in the form of decimal value now let's see how we can create a matrix with all the values as one but all the values will be in the form of integers so it, it is just the same thing but we just need to uh, mention one parameter here which is a d type so d type represents the data type okay so d type and d type is equal to int so integer int represents integer so let's run this so this will create a matrix and all the values will be in the form of integers and all the values will be one of course so this is how you can create a matrix with all the values as one okay so you can just copy this and try it for different shapes so i'll just uh, give a bigger matrix here so bigger shape for this matrix so i'll just put this as 10 comma 10 okay okay so this is how you can create you know a matrix with more number of rows and columns now let's see how we can create a matrix with all the values as zero okay so this type of matrix is called as a null matrix or so null matrix or zero matrix okay so let's name this matrix as null matrix so null matrix is equal to np dot zeros so np dot zeros is the function that can create this kind of uh, matrix and inside this uh, parenthesis mention the shape that you want so you know let's create a 4 comma 4 matrix so which has 4 rows and 5 columns and all the values should be 0 so print null matrix okay so let's run this so now we can see that we got all the values as zeros for a 4 cross 4 matrix okay so similarly we can just uh, you know change the shape of the matrix you want so i'll just put here as maybe uh, you know 7 comma 7 so anything you want so this is how we can create a null matrix with a different shape so for just you know getting a matrix with a different shape you just need to change this uh, shape parameter okay so next let's see how we can create an identity matrix so identity matrix is another important matrix uh, 
So let's name this as identity matrix. So as I told you earlier, so in some cases we need to initiate our matrices matrices with all the values as zero or all the values as uh, you know in the form of an identity matrix. So identity matrix is something that as all the diagonal values as one and the remaining values will be zero. So you can understand this better after we implement this identity matrix. So identity matrix is equal to np dot i. So this i is the function that gives us an identity matrix. So we can just mention the shape we want. So here I'll create a three comma three matrix and let's print this identity matrix. Okay, now you can see here we have all the values as one for this diagonal. So it's not the diagonal from right to left, but it is from the diagonal from left to right. So all the values will be one in this, uh, you know, left to right diagonal and all remaining values will be zero. So this is one of the important types of matrices. So similarly, you can create identity, identity matrix with different shape. So we know that we just need to change the shape of the matrix. So here I'll just give it as phi comma phi. So we will get a uh, Five cross five identity matrix where all the diagonal values are one and the remaining values are zero okay so and we are in the final step of this video where we will try to find the transpose of a matrix so let me put a text here as transpose of a matrix okay so transpose is nothing but a matrix which in which the rows are converted into columns and the columns are converted into rows so it is just like interchanging the rows and columns in a matrix okay so now what we shall do is i'll just create a random matrix so we have already seen how we can create a random matrix right so i just put a comment here as matrix with random integer values okay so let's name this matrix as a okay so a is equal to we know that we need to use the function np dot random dot rand int right so rand int and inside this um, we need to mention a number so if we mention under that means all the integer values uh, all the elements of the matrix matrix will have the values as less than 100 right and the second parameter is size and this size is the shape of the matrix so size is equal to um let's let's take a 4 comma 5 matrix okay so you can also print this a matrix okay so we got a random 4 cross 5 matrix a matrix with 4 rows and 5 columns with all the values less than 100 right now let's see how we can find the transpose of a matrix so in the transpose of a matrix if we consider this first column so the first column has the values as 39 49 40 and 19 right so this first column will be converted to first row where the first row will contain the value as 39 49 40 and 19 so let's see this so let's name this matrix as transpose of a so transpose is actually it is also a matrix so it is not any other different type of uh, you know data type so transpose of a is equal to we can use the function np dot transpose okay so inside this parenthesis mention the matrix for which you want to find the matrix so sorry for which you need to find the transpose here i want to find the transpose of a right so i need to mention uh, np dot transpose a okay and now let's print transpose of a okay so let's run this now you can see here so the first column will be converted into first row here so the first column the values are 39 49 40 and 19 now the first row has the values as 39 49 40 and 19 so this second column starting from 18 and 17 will be converted to second uh, row and this third column will be converted to third row and so on okay so this is how you can uh, find the transpose of a matrix so that's it for this video i hope you have uh, understood all the contents we have covered in this video and uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video